Okay, time for a metering uh, video. Hi viewers. I acquired this uh, old Ferranti meter from a good friend of mine, Steve. He found it somewhere in uh, another one to add to my collection. I guess it's from the late 30s, early 40s. I'm gonna give it a test run and then I'm gonna connect it up so the wires hang on. The meter probably came out of a milk shed or something. And it's got quite a bit of uh, bird poo and stuff on it. The terminals look complete. I'm gonna go to the test run. So I've got the meter turning. This meter should go three times as fast as the other ones, and I'll compare the readings shortly. Um, that's an old Ferranti, similar vintage. Sengamo S219. These were the old mains wires from the old the FL meter. They were all nicely folded over, screws nicely done up, nicely bared copper, so 4 mil by the look of it. I'm going to get some close-ups on this device shortly. I'll take the cover off too. So this is the overall setup here for now. It's pretty rough, but it's a nice sunny day today. And there's a bad weather forecast, so I'll make the best of this to make a uh, metering video, which I haven't done for a while. Blue sky here. Over the Vaitakwes, and the sun is out this way. That's north. West, northwesterly. Camera setting was wrong too. That's now 7.6 decimal 6, and this meter is now gone to uh, 0.5 and a bit, 5.5. Five, five, so. As I said, I've worked the three elements in series, so I just put jumpers across the other two phases. So I active in, through the call, out, next call, third call, out through the brown wire, to the load. Is the undersized neutral. I redo some of my commentary as I had the setting on the camera wrong at 100 Hz instead of uh, just focusing for the daylight top setup. So, this uh, three phase for antimeter uh, setup, it's uh, all the three elements are in series, so the meter will run three times as fast as the other two meters. So. I'll wait till it goes to the zero exactly and then we'll have a look at uh, the decimals on the other two meters. This is a similar vintage with a cyclo dial, it's an FL meter from probably the 1940s. And here it has got a Sangamo uh, S200.19 with a remodeled register. A little bit of wobble on the disc, so we're sitting now here on zero. Decimal zero and the Sangamo is seven and a bit, seven three, I would say. It's a single mesh, so there's a oh, constant mesh, I mean. I've taken the cover off, and while taking the cover off, something dropped on the disc. The meter stops sometimes, so I need to recheck that. Uh, this type meter is an FLX, three times 10 ampere. 3 times 230 volts. It was recalibrated 310 uh, 1966. Um, 150 rest per kilowatt hour. I'm just going to take the dial off and we have an investigation. Just going to take the re register off. These stop screws seem to be going into the casing, I think. Oh, yeah, that's good. Ah, I see it had a bang, a bit of damage on the disc, get a better angle standby. These Fantimeters have a glass disc center, got a couple of cracks in it, but it seemed to be still spinning fine. It must have been dropped, smashed up somewhere, oh there we go, it stops, Let's have a look what's going on here. Ah, oh, there's some rubbish on there, yeah. I'll blow that up. Ah, oh, the typical fancy smell, beautiful.
British patent number 370067 something 1932 oh interesting so we've got an uh, aluminium disc with uh, glass center and then we've got the three voltage coils above red face, yellow face, blue face and the current calls which actually pass the current are these devices here red face yellow will be at the back and then the blue face counts is here brake magnets for stabilization a two piece of art this meter is beautifully made 1988.0 meters running again beautiful brass gear wheels well, I need to wait for the sun to come back, stand by. This little old Ferranti got uh, retested 1171. I'm going to be sitting in the sun quite a bit. The decimals have completely faded off. It looks like about 61.61 uh, uh, FL, type FL, 10 ampere, 230 volts, 600 revolutions per kilowatt hour. Worked hard in this life. Sunlight back, we've got the beautiful bass gear train in here. Can't beat these meters, they're just awesome. This is stuff that's why I documented it, goes on the internet and hopefully it will stay there forever because now it's all plastic, fantastic. It's lasted a couple of years and just gets thrown away. This is the actual load flowing through the circuit. Just over 2 kilo, 2.1 nearly. Just missed the click on the front here. I hear it go 3043 click. We've got a flipping dial. Pointers are in this position. I need to wait another unit for that to see the next flip over. Can do the recording the other way, stand by. It's got the hourglass the dials on it. About to flick over. It's getting colder now, I'm gonna pack this up. This is meters at a test run, accuracy test. I can't really determine it well because this meter had a few jams. But uh, it's still a very cool meter beside of this. 1930s meter back on, energized. And as usual, I'm gonna say energized device. I can't touch the switch from here, but it's the next stage which will be happening. Thanks for watching and people who like meters, they would have appreciated this video of a couple of these uh, vintage meters. I'm going to cut it off here. Have a great um, YouTube time. Cheers.